Hello and welcome to your latest daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack and I'm here to bring you up to speed on the latest daily energy news. Pattern Energy Group has completed financing for a 75 megawatt Finca de Viento Santa Isabel wind project in Puerto Rico. Siemens Financial Services has provided the construction financing for the wind project, which is located in the southern municipality of Santa Isabel. Construction is set to begin in October of this year with completion for September of 2012 and the project will use new Siemens SWT 2.3108 turbines. Pattern Energy Group has entered into a 20-year power purchase agreement and operating agreement with the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority for all of the wind energy generated from the project. Innovadia Solar has partnered with GE's Energy Industrial Solutions Group to manufacture original equipment for GE solar carport charging stations. The two companies evolved into the new partnership through the highly successful collaboration on an installation of a 100 kilowatt solar carport in Plainville, Connecticut earlier this year. Innovadius will include GE Evergold Solar Combiner Boxes, GE Dura Station and Watt Station electric vehicle charging stations, and traditional GE electrical distribution panels and switches including a new line of solar safety switches also known as photovoltaic disconnects. The Pennsylvania Energy Development Authority has awarded a $3.7 million funding to 13 projects across the state for the development and implementation of clean energy. Each grant recipient will provide matching funds for various amounts. EDA provides funding for energy projects across the Commonwealth through grants, loans, and loan guarantees. Projects in Allegheny County may be funded using a portion of a settlement reached between Deskin Light and the Pennsylvania Utility Commission. Sun Power Corporation will design, build, and operate a 5 megawatt solar photovoltaic farm in Calaelio in West Ohio. The Hawaii Public Utilities Commission has approved a contract for Sun Power to sell energy to Hawaiian Electric Company from the solar farm, subject to receipt of applicable permits. Sun Power also plans to begin construction this year and complete the solar farm within five months. The solar power manufacturer will install high, efficient, high efficiency solar panels on a Sun Power to Tracker system, which moves the solar panels to follow the sun during the day. According to Sun Power, this increases sunlight capture by 25% over fixed tilt systems while significantly reducing land requirements. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Have a fantastic day.